Hey guys, welcome back. Look at what I have to review this week. It is Crayola Scribble Scrubby Pets. I've, I've seen these in Toys R Us, but I didn't take too big of a look because it was in the younger kids section. But three markers, instructions, a scrubby cat, a scrubby brush, I'm sorry, Fifi the cat and Mika the dog. And you color with the markers on them and then you scrub them clean so you can use them over and over again. This is so much fun as a bath time or I'm thinking this is going to be so much fun as a bath toy for fun or I don't know, in the backyard with some water, especially with it being so warm out now that it's summer. Might be fun to just, you know, color your little pets and wash them off. And if you look on the back, it shows you all 12 and it tells you about the pets. So this is Fifi the cat of many loves. She loves to eat. She loves to beg for food and she loves saying, get in my tummy. It's so cute. A big fan of dogs and cats. And then you have Mika, who's a Dachshund or a Dachshund or a hot dog or a sausage dog, depending on what you want to call them. And hers says, hot diggity dog. Mika's a clever pup. And on the side, it actually shows you what you do. So it shows you scribble, scrub, scribble again. And for even more fun, you can wash them in a scrubby tub. There is a tub you can buy if you can get the set. This, I'm thinking, might be a pretty cool gift because this is a little one, but they add some really big ones too. So if you're looking for a birthday gift and you're on a budget, this might be it. But before I tell you that, let's actually take a look and open it up. Look at how they're coloring. Like, oh, now... Packaging was a little loose on this one. <gasps> Can you hear it? This isn't hard plastic. The eyes are. This is soft, almost like a felty material. I'm really curious about how this is going to work. I thought this was like a hard plastic. This is soft. These are soft. How does this work? Where's that dashing? The head doesn't move. It says Crayola on the belly. But it's it's soft. That is not what I was expecting. There's instructions because I think we've learned I need to follow instructions. Color and customize. Scrub under running water to give it a shower. Gently remove the marker. Rinse pets and dry thoroughly. Okay, so you have to dry them thoroughly. I am really confused about why it's soft. And I wonder, can you buy Scribbles markers? Scribble Scrubbies. Do you think these are just regular markers that are labeled Scribble Scrubbies? Because ultra clean washable, but aren't all Crayola markers washable? I don't know. I still think this is going to be a lot of fun. There go my markers rolling away. All right. Let's give it a go. I can't get the marker lit off. Guys, I can't get the lid off. Okay. I'm wondering, are these real... Are these just regular Crayola markers? Do you see how it's coloring? It's not like you're coloring on paper. You could hear the fuzzy, right? Can you you can hear the fuzzy. Like this it's literally like a Crayola marker. I'm really wondering. Let me grab these ones over here. Let's try green. I'm going to try the cat too. I don't have running water. I mean, I have running water. I didn't bring running water. I just brought a container. I think I'm going to color the cat a different color. Look at that. Make it 
multi-tone. That's kind of cute. I I don't know now. Now I'm I'm really really curious. Let's color the cat. Oh. I honestly think these are just regular Crayola markers and I should have brought some to test. They're fuzzy. But they have a hole in them in the bottom which means and they're not squeezable. So just something to think about that I really just thought of. With water toys, they will grow mold in them. So I would use some hot glue, but this has, you know, fuzz. So will that ruin it? I just put the green lid on the yellow marker. Remember what I said about how I need to follow directions? <laughs> I want to do some two tones. I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to color to see how easy it is. Of course the purple one's the only one I left the lid on. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, ooh, pretty. All right, so we got them pretty well colored. Let me put the lids on, because you know, <laughs> I'm really just throwing things. We don't want our markers to draw. There goes my marker, again. And let's do this one. We don't want them to dry out. Clip. Okay. I did not think about the fact I would need running water. So I brought my measuring cup. All right, let's just... I don't know. Well, they don't float. <laughs> yeah, they don't float. They're just going to sink, which means they're filling with water. That's why. Maybe that's why. All right. Well. Hmm. Remember how I said maybe this would be a good gift? Huh. I'm getting some marker on my hands. I mean, it's getting lighter. I'm getting water everywhere. That purple is pretty pretty. Maybe it needs to soak. The brush is really soft. Oh, maybe. Look, maybe it needs to soak. Okay, that was my, I rushed it. Ooh, look, looks galaxy right now. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I think we have to soak them. We can't just run them underwater. What do you think? Do you have these? Were you given these as a gift? Would you buy these? Okay, it's coming clean. So, obviously, I rushed it. But nowhere in these instructions does it say to let them soak. It says scrub time. Hold your pet under the sink to give it a shower. Gently brush the to help remove the marker. Okay. And then clean up, rinse pet to remove marker colors. So it did not say you have to soak them. This time it's a fail on Crayola and not on me for not following instructions. Now that they've soaked, it's kind of interesting though. The water's still fairly clear. The cat is not coming clean. The dog came clean. The cat is not coming clean. Look at it. Look at it. You really need to scrub these things. Like, I think I'm going to need some soap. <sighs> soak a little bit more. I should have brought a bigger bucket. <laughs> I mean, you can still see some of the color. You can still see some of the color. Give it a really good, like it's still, you still see some of the pink. What if I, I'm going to color right under its neck where it's harder to scrub. Okay. Now we're going to let it soak. I'm wondering if I color it and soak it quickly, if it'll be easier
maybe that's it. Maybe you have to color. Yeah, look, I think you have to color and rinse. Yeah, look at how much easier that came off. So you have to color and rinse right away. Yeah, that came off so much easier. Let me see this cat again. I think the cat sat too long because that yellow is not coming off. Let me just try if I put a different color. Bear with me. <laughs> the water's turning pink. If we, maybe we were supposed to wet them first and that's why it came off so much easier. Or... Nope. I wonder if just the cat's defective because that dog came pretty clean. All right. Nope. Now I've just, made, now I've just made a pinkish, look at my mess. Oh my goodness. I've just made a pinkish yellow cat. I'm going to say Crayola, this is a half pass, half fail because <sighs> kitty cat here. <laughs> it's still yellow. So the darker colors are coming off, but our cat's got a little yellow on his tummy or her tummy. She's cute though. Maybe I just color her all. Oh, maybe some soap will help her? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Let's check this dog. Yeah. Oops. Wash it. Look at the water. Ooh. I like that the brush says Crayola. I think that's going to be my favorite thing. And maybe the pets. But there's still some purple on the dog. I don't know. I'm going to say a half a win and a half a fail. So maybe if you're going to help your kids wash them. Or if you're just going to leave them in the tub outdoor fun. Why not? You let me know in the comments. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.